Um, this has been a year and a half project that we've had um, Nestle come into our town, into our 4,000 uh, acre game preserve. A year and a half battle of uh, passing two right space ordinances in Newfield and Shapley, and first, first um, two towns in Maine to say that Nestle needs to stay out. We do not want them in Shapley or Newfield with any water extraction whatsoever. Um, we're we, we were the first two to success. Tell them they're not welcome and have them leave. There are other towns that have not welcomed them, but they've ended up in, in court. And they had sunk um, 16 well sites, 23 wells, um, monitoring wells, in the preserve in 2006. And we, as um, public, found out about it in two, that latter of 2007, beginning of 2008. And we found out that there was no public input, no public hearing. Um, they just came in with the permission from IFNW um, to sink these wells. And we were very upset that we didn't have a say in this. We want, um, we, w this game preserve is here for the people, for the state of Maine. It's a state preserve. And we, the people, own the preserve. So once we found out that they were looking to um, have these board wells in Shapley, and the Shapley elected officials really didn't let the people know, we formed power, the group, and we educated ourselves first, um, came out and found the, most of the bull wells, and went to our elected officials um, with our small grassroots group, and um, pretty much we said, you know, this is happening, we're not happy about it, why don't we have any input? We went door to door to let um, the different taxpayers and residents know that this was happening. Uh, I'm State Representative Jim Campbell, and I represent uh, District 138, which is uh, Newfield, Limerick, uh, Chapley, and Alfred. When I found out that uh, these walls are in here and these folks wanted them out of here, uh, this is on state land, I uh, spoke to the governor and, uh, and DEP, and, we, and then we got involved with the uh, Inland Fisheries and Wildlife, and it all became agreeable. Uh, Poland Springs agreed to take them out. I'm here as a witness representing Shapley and Newfield to see the removal of these wells coming out as they should. And Inland Fisheries and Game was working with Nestle at the time the um, monitoring wells were placed in there, but their job is to make sure this land preserve remains in its natural state. Freiburg, um, they went the regulatory approach. With a regulatory approach, you, it only regulates Nestle. You cannot say no to Nestle. Um, it's against the law, it's discrimination. So what we did was we wrote our own right space ordinance that said, not only do we not want you in here, we're telling you you can't come in here. We're lucky to have this. There's over 33 states right now in the United States that have a lack of water, drinking water. Um, why we would sell for profit six tenths of a cent to this international company that's looking out for their shareholders and not the main people. Um, you know, this is the only way through the right space ordinance that we could protect this state-owned Vernon Walker land management. I went down to um, <clears throat> Greenwich, Connecticut for um, Nestle's shareholders meeting two and a half months ago with Corporate Accountability oh, yeah. and met with um, Kim Jeffries, the CEO of Nestle, and um, for about a half an hour. And he was asking, you know, why we, we didn't want them in our neighborhood in Shapley and Newfield. And we just said, first of all, you know, when you entered into our game preserve and we weren't um, notified, that was upsetting. But then all the bullying tactics that Nestle has played just with us in, New in Shapley alone. Um, and he asked me what I thought about the PR and so forth. And I said, well, I think, quite frankly, you've blown the PR in Maine anyway with the Freiburg lawsuit. Um, and he's asked me pretty much, you know, what, what, what I thought, how it could turn around, how they could work with the different communities. And the first thing I said, well, <clears throat> if it was me in running the business, I would first of all stop the Nestle lawsuit um, with Freiburg. We do have a press release that I would like to read. Um, Protect Our Water and Wildlife Resources is pleased to report that Nestle Waters N.A. 
is removing all of the test wells it has installed in the state-owned Vernon Walker Wildlife Management Area located in Shapley and Newfield. Removal has occurred Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Nestle Waters, N.A., North America, is a division of the Swiss-based food processing giant of the same name doing business as Maine's Poland Springs. Again, Friday, July 24th, 322, we have successfully told Nestle we wanted all the wells removed after a year and a half process.